Hello everyone and welcome back to Quadrilateral Cowboy. I am Xorf and uh, we are gonna keep on working on uh, the Clinica de, Repuls de Repulsi Bay. Uh, I don't know how that's pronounced. Um, oh, a bike. That I can uh, grab. I'm assuming I can't actually use it though. Oh well, sorry about that. Whoever whoever that was. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head back into the space clinic today. We already fi finished the first episode, uh, or the first mission last time. So let's jump on to pair programming. Download brain from comma word B. But yeah, like I said, really freaking liking this, uh, this level or this starting area. Uh, are you not really breaking in, so to speak? You're more just, um, yeah, you're just kind of going in and doing the routine of uh, um, making sure you're not dying <laughs> from uh, from uh, uh, the. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Making sure you're not letting the space in <laughs> or whatever. Uh, yeah, we are heading to Ward B, but I didn't notice this place before. It's a fun little detail that we have these sort of squatting toilets, I think. There's a lot of nice details here in general, but yeah, I don't know if I would want them to be this exposed. I mean, these aren't like urinals. I don't know, man. I don't know. I wouldn't be comfortable doing that. Uh, so where is Ward B? Where is Ward B? And that's Ward C. Come on, Ward Bugbear. Come on, Ward Caribou. And what was the old one? Armadillo. Armadillo. Observation Nook. What's up here? Huh. Kind of wondering if you actually want to shoot that button from over here. It actually seems very likely. You want to break the window. I'm not so worried about that spotlight be possibly being like gonna set up the alarm or something. Let's uh, put this down here immediately. That seems like the right thing to do. Uh, yeah, that might work. Glass handle we care, yeah. Well, let's leave that there as we go back here. Oh, I thought we had, oh, we haven't taken off our um, breathing equipment. That's silly of us. I don't know if you have, there's any reason to do so, but I kind of want to. And so we don't have that uh, overlay. So watch as part of this mission is actually about, yeah, I'm going to break a window. This probably isn't a good idea, is it? Might need some uh, some breathing gear for this. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head in there. Probably. Wait. Oh no. Wait. That actually worked just fine. That's odd. Okay, so I didn't need to shoot uh, to um, press them simultaneously. Oh man, and I'm not even in the right place, am I? That uh, that Outlook thing is probably looking over Coma Ward uh, C. So, okay, I need to go back and grab my suitcase. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Oh god, I was stupid. But now I kind of know how to handle uh, the C mission. I suppose I can just do the C mission right away. I did so in the past. I don't know if that would work out this time around, but hey, why why not? Honestly, why not? Let's let's tr do that. That's for fun. Doing things out of order is generally kind of cool. Quarantine. Uh, 
kan melde, at de lige er locked down. Nu stik det lige mærket. Is that all? That I need to fire it from there? Um, and uh, all right, we need to actually set up our CCTV so we can see what the hell is going on. Oh shit, it's everything. Um, okay. We need to figure this shit out now. That's interesting. <laughs> Everything just, uh, we just lost gravity. Um, that can, that might be tricky. We grab this, uh, rotate it a bit, so we can actually, I suppose we can just do something like that and can we grab this. Yeah. We should be fine still. You just need to actually rotate that correctly now. So, whatever that will work. <laughs> How about that? That looks quite right. Uh, I'm sorry about this. I hope you're not gonna die horribly as you're suffocating from the lo uh, lack of air <laughs> wait am i running out of fucking oxygen oh my god jesus i didn't realize i had oxygen to care about so that was stupid of me <laughs> All right, but I mean, we should really just do that mission, shouldn't we? Now that we have it figured out, so um, let's actually do that. Let's start off by firing. And then we should probably see if we can't, if we get our air back by going out here. Yeah, I think so. We can just, uh... Whoa! Oh, I, I actually hit the button right away. That's cool. And this is somehow already done. Do I need to redo this? Okay. Uh, I think the level didn't quite properly reset there. But now it's done. Cool. We probably want to grab our stuff and back out and actually do the mission that we're on because I don't didn't get a an objective complete for doing that. But yeah, I completely did not <laughs> spot that that I had this uh, oxygen meter in the right hand corner. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, we're probably okay. And does this still work? Yeah, I suppose so. But, huh, I guess this is actually a bit odd. I don't suppose we have two of these auto cases? Because how will this work otherwise? How will I be able to fire at two of these at once? Okay, that did not work at all. Huh. This seems like an inherently bad design <laughs> on their part. <laughs> like, how will they ever get inside here? Do they have their own little guns that they can fire to, uh, <laughs> to be able to get inside? I wouldn't know. Can we perhaps use the weevil or can we connect to something? Do we just need to turn very quickly and do it do it real good? Let's just put it down here in the middle of them and see if we can 
do something like that. Uh, right, so deploy, connect, and uh, maybe we want to, first of all, try to find turn minus five, no, turn, I can type even if I'm not looking at the uh, the screen, which is nice. So that's why I'm sometimes talking uh, about writing things while I'm not uh, while I'm actually looking somewhere else. Um, turn two. Uh, that seems about right, doesn't it? But we probably want like one more. Yeah, that looks about right. So let's see how much we have to turn to get to the other one. That was five. Is that enough? No, oh, let's turn six, actually. If I could chain together commands, this would be pretty easy. Because um, what we want to do now is to fire turn minus six and then uh, fire again. But I don't think we can do that all that quickly. Well, that's definitely not fast enough. Um, but now that we have these um, these command commands logged, I think we could possibly repeat them very quickly by going up hmm. yeah, it's not super easy to get a handle on I'm gonna fire turn minus six fire no this is not working there's something I'm missing here so how would you do this I wonder. You somehow hit both of them at the same time. Can you somehow fire this off while clicking it? I mean, I, I don't think we can chain together things like fire turn six fire right no. Fire, turn, six, fire. Oh, that actually worked. Cool. I had, I didn't actually think that was possible. I think I tried it with the Weevil and it didn't uh, work. So I kind of just assumed that it wouldn't. But that's actually pretty awesome. So weird that my shadow is walking while I'm actually standing still. Yay! I'm getting complete. I think this means that we'll be done with this whole place. Let's uh, stash everything even though we don't have to. And head back to our extraction. Hopefully that's it. Oh, yeah, it was a really fun little mission. But I still, I'm still hoping that we'll get some missions where we have to like chain everything we know together in some interesting ways. Because here it was pretty much just the uh, just the gun and nothing else. Uh, let's continue. Did that count as five? Oh Jesus! The first one didn't save again. Huh. All right, I'm just going to do that one real quickly. I'm assuming you don't want to see me redo that mission all over again. It's easy enough, so. Oh, I guess the global average is zero seconds. I don't think the global average stuff is working. 
<laughs> nor the top operators, because I don't think I'm the top operator. Alright. So we got the Repulse Bay Clinic um, mission done. So let's uh, see what we what new equipment we get. Shopping expedition. Hello, kitties. Hey, you look different. Are you one of the kitties, kittens that that grew up <laughs> since last time? Or do you look just look different for some reason? It's fun that you have so many um, so many weapons here. You really don't use weapons, or at least not uh, lethal weapons. Ah, uh, Blink Xe. We just got some new software. Oh, I think I heard about this actually. You can blink by pressing Q. You can apparently. Connect that to command somehow? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so you can actually assign any command to blinking. That's kind of cool. Uh, right, let's write blink. Hmm. But that's interesting. I wonder if how that works with blinking multiple times. Like, does it take a while to. Execute or because otherwise, if you have something assigned to uh, blinking once and something else assigned to blinking twice, then won't you always execute the first one? Um, let's try what they say here. Um, so it just executes directly onto this terminal. Um, so if you do blink to exit. A mod deploy. Can we do fire right away? Let's try this. So Q is blinking and we blink twice. Okay, so it's actually... Hmm, but that didn't seem to work. Did I say Deloy? Yeah, I did. Okay. That's stupid of me. So you need to actually double tap Q. You can't just blink, blink. That still counts as one blink, so that's awesome. Whoa! Sorry about that. <laughs> Hope I didn't break you. Alright, cool. So, that's awesome. I uh, can't wait to see what we get to do with that. So, let's head out and, and see. Hi, oh, is this my home? Morning, Karfu. <laughs> I'm assuming this isn't the same person as before. Let me just... Uh, Shut this thing off. Why aren't you waking up? Damn it. Uh, erratic engine architecture. Model K simulator. Infinitesimal UV mapping. <laughs> Just been uh, programming some sort of update planets. Some sort of universe simulator or something in my. Uh, in my little apartment. Can we pick up our clothes again? Or can I use these clothes? No, I probably can't. Probably put this on. Uh, yeah, sure. Anything interesting here? Apparently... Like photographer, photographer, photography. Uh, that looks vaguely like a robot. And uh, my name is Poncho. 
So yeah, this is definitely my apartment and not his. I thought it might have been his for a second there. Maybe we need to put on our new clothes. We can't just put on the clothes from last... Oh, we actually have a poncho. I didn't really register that as a poncho, a poncho before. Oh, we can see more of our face as well. Or more of our hairdo, at least. Compassion Fatigue World Tour. So that's a band, Compassion Fatigue. Right, we are ready to head out. I want to see what this does though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it would like open our path to our secret lair or something like that, but nothing that fancy. Uh, okay. Bye bye, whoever you are. I'm assuming you live here, otherwise it would be weird to just leave you around here. Oh, we actually don't live in a truck. There aren't even any trucks around here, I don't think. Huh? Who's knocking? Oh, okay. Someone is picking me up today, I guess. Can we actually see what this is? <laughs> it's some, um, uh... Canned tomato pasta, canned tomato sauce, canned tomato... Huh, a lot of tomatoes in this chili. Oh, what is going on there? Uh, 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 anything else? A lot of tea. Who ate the cake? I don't know. Who did? No one else home? Alright. Bye-bye. Let's uh, conserve some uh, some energy. Nice of you to pick me up as well. <laughs> yeah, I really like these little story bits between the missions. They're very, very cute. The Valencia Villa. Alright. So, uh, we're gonna see what's in that villa in the next episode. If you enjoyed watching this one, then please leave a like. Subscribe for more videos every week. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Quadrilateral Cowboy. Bye bye. Oh, okay. have decided to join us. Hoshumadi, welcome. Let them arrest us. Let them beat us. Let them jail us. They are our brothers in wolves' clothing. This is a peaceful this assembly. This is our democratic right. They've done nothing wrong. Oh, I hope this isn't the, um, the Black Friday. We're all supposed to be on the same side. We're all countrymen. This could get violent. Yes, it could.